Hello everyone and welcome to Burley Men at Sea, a title I've seen a few times on PSN and the title just tickled me uh, and it was three quid in the current summer sale so I thought I'd have a little look at it. I have very little idea of what this is about at all other than you have three men with beards and that you have to look after and do stuff with but Burley Men at Sea just, well it just made me feel happy. I didn't know there was, ah, there was something about that. So. And this is a title screen you come to. It doesn't really tell you anything. There's little bits pulsing at the time. Uh, cursor moves around with the left stick and the right stick seems to open up a story. So, um, oh, okay. Uh, that takes me back to the title. That takes me into there. Okay, let's click on the ship in a bottle and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Oh. What? Useless sea chart, grumbles a hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast to sea without purpose must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, aye. <laughs> Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Right, head back. Okay. Mm. Okay, there's the village. Oh, a lovely sunny day. Seagulls! There. Here are my dudes. Magnificent beards. Okay, so we control them by using the right stick. I think, and they just move in that general direction. Okay, let's keep going then. Is there anyone for them to talk to, anything for them to do? Can they go for a swim? No. Right, we're going back. Right stick. Magnificent beards these gentlemen have. Cool music. I like it. Oh, there's someone playing the fluid. Okay, so how do I talk to people? Uh, probably by clicking on them. Let's just move you that way. And click. Yep. Cool music. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him with these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in a coffee shop might have answers. Right, okay, coffee shop. Uh, oh, can I go in? Ah, doors. Doors! In you go, chaps. Oh, lovely fire. There's the old man in the coffee shop. You need coffee. Here we go, let's have a chat. You'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. Men cast a dubious glaze at the tiny stool before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. Made by someone's mouth. Excellent. <laughs> He's a slow old boy. Don't spill that coffee. The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin espresso, roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly. He sighs. Coffee? Relaxing the men sip cautiously. Eyes widen. Is it good coffee? Now what you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions and yours is painfully rolled in your hand. Got all piratey with him. Steady beard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Mmm, seems what you have here is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. I like heroic feat. Aye! Brave Beard leaps from his seat to proud pound Steady Beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks, uh, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his sceptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. The map has tales yet to tell. Ooh. Oh, and that's it. He's off. He turns to walk away. Ho there! What sort of tales? Calls Brave Beard. 
That depends, replies the old man, on what sort you choose. <gasps> he crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Ooh, he's gone. Can we grab some more coffee? Give me my cursor back. Steady Bear coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the espresso. He tries. There's no answer. Don't know why my burly men with beards have got slightly posh English accents. Right. Okay. Can I have some more coffee? No, I can't. In that case, burly men with beards, let us leave this place. Right, okay, so we can't go, oops, nothing that way. Oh, I love the music, the music is wicked. Let's go in the shed, or the barn, can we go in the barn? Yep. Oh, there's a boo! Let's go and say hello to the cat. Uh, brave beard sidles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about adventure, would you, old girl? And pretends not to wait for an answer. What about the chickens? <laughs> it's lovely that these all affects. Oh, I've got an egg. Can I have an egg? Hey, look, made a chick. No, oh, bless him. Look. Oh, hello, chicky. Right, let's go. Out. Enough of this. Right. Can we do anything with the copious fish that have been caught? No, we can just jiggle. Right. Uh, let's go in this house and then we'll see about getting back in the boat. Who have we got? Oh, the little old lady. As long as she's not making pies. Here we go. Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? Steady Beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Yeah. Know anything about adventurous deeds and heroic feats? Maps, adds Brave Beard. Mystery. The loaf-shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, and then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? I'm afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. Yeah, all right then, can I have some bread? Ooh, look, can I grab a loaf? Oh, I can, I'm eating it. Oh no, I, I poked it. <laughs> what about the pretzel? Can't do anything with pretzel to get slurpy noises. Can we put the apron on? Can we put the apron on? No. Right. Right, lads, don't think there's any more doors. Let us go to sea. Any more doors? Oh, there's one over here. Right, okay, let's go in this one, lads. Come on, brother's beard. Ooh, blacksmith. <laughs> oh, awesome. All the sound effects are going to be made by a person making noises. That's brilliant. The man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Yeah. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and... And do you happen to know anything about the unknown? But that's hasty. Or heroic feats and tales and such, adds Brave Beard, hopefully. As a brief pause, the man stops hammering. He grunts, they wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Well, that's just rude. You chink away, sunshine. At least you could do is say hello. Goodness me. Courtesy. Costs nothing, you know. Absolutely nothing. Right, let's go to our lovely boat. No, I need more right stick. Come on, lads. Let's go. Oh, do I have to click on the boat? Alright, it is. Where's, where's my cursor gone? There it is. Alright, click. Come on, boys. I love the music. Right, there are birds. I have no cursor or anything to control at the moment. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? 
Steady Bait frowns. I don't like it. it. Has a feel of mischief about it. Mischief away! He grins Braybeard, loosing the sails. Oh no! It's a leviathan. I'm being eaten by a whale. Well, well, thanks for watching. That's the end of the game. Um, we've been eaten by a whale. I oh, know. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. And there are ghosts. Here we are, boys. Let me come over here. Oh, I've got a trophy. The Great Barnacled One. Obviously talking about the, um, the whale. Join us, friends, from whence do you come? Asked one of the nymphs. Oh, you've got to watch these nymphs. We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explained Steady Beard. It's really very discouraging. A man can't probably have an adventure at sea indoors, adds Brave Beard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Oh, great, they're cryptic. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of faithlessness. Faithless? Fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great barnacled one reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open its maw. Ah, choices. The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the great one's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Greybeard's face shows alarm. I think we'd um, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway, but all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek enlightenment of... Found it, interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire before them. I like Hasty. He's a man of action. He gets things done. Right, come on, boys. Um, I can't go to the right, so I can only go to the left. Okay. Come on, lads. Let's find out what's going on. Ooh, pardon me. Breakfast. Let's find out what's going on. There's our lovely boat. No, can I look at the barrels? A few barrels left empty by the morning's interrupted work. No float free beside the boat. The men consider them in the torchlight. If I were the puzzle solving sort, oh dear, observed Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, nods Steady Beard, but not so well as our ship. Ah, Bravebeard scoffs. What are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. So, we've got the option to either. I mean, I think we're going to. I think there are options to make because this game um, plays out every, differently every time you do it. Um, and I suppose we're going to have the opportunity either to grab the barrels and go out through the whale's spout or our trusty boat. Uh, <laughs> okay, that is awesome. I guess we're leaving our trusty boat. I'm leaving our trusty boat behind. I'm dressed in a barrel. Do we have to go back to these ladies and talk to them again? There's a hatch they talked about. Where's that hatch? You cannot await the place of promise clothed in this manner, friends. Or is it, the nymph shudders, departure you seek. Escape, I'd call it, growls Hasty Beard. We're feeling mighty faithless. There's a gasp from the nymphs. Then you must go at once. Step through the door behind us and pull the cord to summon the fountain. But the barrel clothed men take steps to evade the remaining conversation. Okay. You know, you really always ought to hear a but. I mean, buts are good. Where is it? Where's the hatch? Is that the hatch? Looks like a sphincter. Is that it? Oh yeah. Oh, slurpy sounds. Lovely. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's the uvula. <laughs> All right, so we go into its its throat. You pull its uvula, uh, and they spit us out. <coughs> Lovely. Okay. Hasty Beard is fire with excitement. Oh, I missed that one. Brave Beard grumbles eloquently from his barrel. Steady Beard looks worried. Right. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Wooden trousers is the trophy I've just earned. You won't be able to see that. Uh, which way to go? Left or right? Ah, can't go left. So we're going right. <laughs> oh, this is just stupid, but in a good way. Right, okay. Tiring, the barreled clothed men settle back to drift with the current. May as well see where it takes us, observed Steady Beard bleakly. Time passes. Brave Beard begins to snore raucously from behind. If you can hear that uh, beeping sound, there is a, a lorry reversing somewhere outside the front of my house. Time passes. Okay, let's go this way. Continue to the right. Ooh, what's going on? What's that? Ship ahead! The shout wakens Brave Beard, who eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing moments later to cough. It begins. What the devilry? exclaims Hasty Beard. Uh, that looks like Styx, um, who guards the underworld. Well, Chiron, isn't it? Not Styx, Chiron. The grim cloak figure clears his throat as he approaches. Greetings. Please come aboard for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. I'm not sure I want to go to the afterlife. Ah, oh, well, replies Steady Beard. Thank you, but we prefer the long way. There's a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At last he heaves a desolate sigh. You do not willingly forfeit your souls, he pleads. That is quite painless, and I would at last be promoted from this apprentice issue rowboat. Another silence follows. Then, he continues despairingly, there must be a race. At this hasty bit, his face cheers significantly. Maybe you'll be so kind as to lose? No, of course not. He sighs again, deeply sigh. We race through the cliffs of despair, he exclaims mournfully. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. If I take the lead, however, unlikely I don't lose. He's, you know, he needs a bit of self-confidence, doesn't he? Meaning you win. I had not thought of it. Oh, meaning you win. That was them. I would not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case. Yes. With that way to confer, Hasty Beard sets off paddling furiously. Of course he does. Because he's Hasty Beard. Right, come on lads. We are not going to lose to death. Well, let's say not death, this is death's messenger. In Greek mythology, he's Chiron. He ferries the souls of the dead across the river Styx into Hades. Come on, lads. I mean, I could lose and go to uh, go to the afterlife, I suppose. Uh, and then this guy gets a nicer boat. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to win. No, 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 don't you dare. Get off. Hasty, stop it. Oh, I'm not in control here, actually. I can't influence at all um, of where they're going. Come on, Death. Put your back into it. Or climb on. <laughs> the sound effect of the sails done by someone's mouth as well. This is amazing. I have no control over this at all. Can I click on him? Oh, I can. I can click on him and he goes... Well, he's not doing anything. That makes him go faster. Uh, what about you? If I click on you, what happens? Oh, what about these guys? We've got to make all of them win. Or is it just wiggling them? 
is going backwards. I really need you to, to go forwards. Hasty's doing all right. I want these guys to move forwards. Come on. Oh no! Don't do that. So if I click on them, do they go faster? No. I'm not entirely sure how this went. This fish. So can I just slow him down? He's going forwards. Don't interrupt his paddle. How do we get these guys to go? Because this looks like it's just. Because I think we've got to. All three of us have got to beat him. How do I do that? No, he just catches up. Oh no! We don't want to do that. Can I hold that down? Yes! Ah! Alright, so I do have some agency here. There we go, I've just got to get him past, so if I hold down X and move the car on back. Can I move him forward? No, I can't. I can only move Kyra on back. So there's my guys winning. Yay! Alright, well, that took a while to figure out. Sorry, mate. I feel bad now. Perhaps I should have let him win. Ah, oh, really very sorry for scuttling your promotion all that off a steady bid. Not so bad, tries Brave Beard. You've a boat, and that's a nice scary mask. Don't think it's his mask. Oh, it is. I do have a nice mask, sniffs the muffled voice. Great, well, goodbye, calls Hasty Beard, paddling away. The others join him. Ah, okay. Okay, now what? The long way, okay. Right, I've got a trophy called the long way, by the way. I've had a ding. Ooh, keep moving right. <laughs> this is really very slightly mad. Oh, sun's going down. Uh-oh. I can't do anything. They must be having very crinkly, all that warm. All right. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Its course seems to be gr drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Brave Beard muses aloud. What's it up to? Steady Beard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than a wayward sun. Did you note the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. Aye, far worse, realises Hasty Beard. It's a current we're caught in. And a mischievous one by my reckoning, as Steady Beard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle, and faster by the minute. Oh no, not a whirlpool. Brave Beard's shout names their fears. Maelstrom! Which is a massive storm, I believe. Oh, and there they are, three little dots, being swizzled round. It's a whirlpool. From high above, the water's accelerating swirl is unmistakable. Oh, click. The men paddle furiously, but the widening vortex is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. Can I interfere with this at all? Oh, look, I can. Collapsing the maelstrom tosses the men in their barrels towards the surface. Oh, I could destroy the maelstrom. I guess you just got to figure out and um, just play with it. Have I saved them? Oh, love it. Oh, out of the deepening, the trophy I've just got. I wonder what would have happened. Can I influence the moon? No. Right. Come on then, boys. Uh, can you go left? No. Okay, we're going right. I just love the music. I love the aesthetic. I mean, it's really charming. And totally, totally bonkers. It'd be interesting where the paths take you. This is a game that kind of demands the second playthrough, I think. Oh, it's gone all foggy. Come on, brother's beard. Paddle for your lives. 
Can I click on them? Can I do anything? No, it looks like I've just got to travel. And we'll get to something else. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's this? Ooh. Uh-oh. A what? Some squiggles. A sea monster of some description. Well met, bearded travellers. The voice is deep, musical. All oh, right, okay then. Um, hello, stammers brave beard, wondering, w wonder apparent on his face. Oh, it's right, this is a lady monster. You've seen much this day. She continues smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all. She peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. Aceby clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any true vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea, she was. Silvery laugh ripples the water around them. Ah, ha, ha. You have travelled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. Her words seem to linger, leaving them quiet as they drift in the fog. Ooh, can I do anything? Oh, it's getting lighter. No control. Ooh. They're moving. I've got no agency here, no control. What's this, what's this? The sun rises. Ooh. An island. Come on lads, plop. Oh no, our barrels are floating away, stop them. Stop him. Well met is the trophy I've just got there. Puffins! Oh, puffins. Got it. Click on a puffin. I love puffins. Puffins are the best birds ever. Oh, puffin. Uh, interesting fact. Last Jedi. I'm not going to get in the whole debate of whether it was a good film or not. But the porks, uh, the porks were actually puffins. They went to this island in uh, um, Ireland to film all of that, and there were puffins everywhere. And it was cheaper to CG all the puffins to look like porks than try to actually CGI out all the puffins. So that's what porks are, they're puffins. Right, come on lads, let's get moving. Here we go. Oh look, another little birdie. Can I click on it? Come here birdie, click. Oh, oh it's a moose, moose. Or, I don't know where this is in the world actually, it could be an elk, which is the European version of the moose. He just goes, Mrrr. And there's a house! Right, where's my cursor gone? Go in the house, boys. Come on, house. Who are we going to meet today? It's the coffee house. What? Coffee dude. I've forgotten his voice. Thought you'd find a way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. A familiar as a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map, he questions. Steady beard nods, silently passing it to him. Oh look, we've got stuff on the map. We've got the dead bloke, we've got the vortex, we've got the sea monster, and we've got the whale. Aha! I see you managed to find the adventurous deeds. And did you meet her? Talking about the sea monster, I suppose. Aye, brave beard is first of the brothers speak. Magnificent she was, like the storm of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Aye, 
It'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few times. A few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If you have the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Ooh. Burley Men at Sea. Steady, oh, Burley Men at Sea, Steady Beer reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. But what's all this numerical business, numberical business, uh, on the spine? And how did he give them, he gave them the sly look. That's another mystery, if you're the curiosity for it. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent your bottle to sea. I have another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will ye do the honour? Yes. Wow. Okay. Cool. So we're back on the island and we can go and do it again. So it looks like the game is... Oop. That's it. Right. So... I'm probably going to do another one, actually, but I'm going to stop here with this particular um, whiz through. Uh, there's going to be a dip in the audio, I'm afraid, where, um, in that race with Chiron. I'll try and fix it if I can, uh, simply because I had someone come to the door and had to pause the game. I forgot to put my microphone back on my, <laughs> on my T-shirt. Um, that's brilliant. I liked that. So we've got about 30 minutes to complete it, uh, 25, 30 minutes to complete it, but I can now go and I can stay in the whale, I can let Chiron win, I can be sucked down into the maelstrom and that'll open up new parts of the map and new stories to be told. So I think I'll do at least one more of these considering it's very contained and nice and short um, and upload a series of these to the channel actually. But I just love the aesthetic. You know, it's very simple graphics, it's not trying to do anything sensational. Um, it's not a, you know, it's not gamey, you know, you're not um, playing it as such, but uh, the choices that you make are going to give you different stories. I liked it. I like the fact that there's the boys. I like the fact that um, the, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a sense of humour. It is funny. Um, I like the fact that all of the sound effects are done by a person. Um, and I like the fact that the credits were about 45 seconds. Whereas, you know, you, you finish a game like Detroit Become Human, you're sitting around watching credits for about 15 minutes. Um, that's fantastic. I really like Burly Man at Sea, so there will be a part two. I want to see where my bearded lovelies go next. Um, so thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. Uh, if you think someone else will like it, give it a share. Uh, and the subscribe button should be floating around somewhere on the screen right now. You can click on that if you want to see more of this content. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.